when we wrote our first book, Vision Straits Business Guide for Optometrists, we experienced a lot of flack because one of the key features in the book that we described quite in detail was we changed the narrative of referring to people that come into our practices as patients. And we challenged the status quo and we said, why aren't we referring to the people that come to the practices as consumers? And within consumers, you've got patients, you've got customers, and you've got clients. And a lot of backlash was experienced as a result of that because people couldn't understand how dare I or how dare we as a company refer to people as consumers. But let me explain it to you why we did that. Optometry has the educational component. Optometry has the clinical or the health component. And then it's got the business, the sales, the retail component. All three need to work cohesively and effectively with one another in order for optometric practices to experience massive growth and exponential sales year in, year out. What does that mean? The different types of people that come into our practice are not the same. You've got that individual that comes into the practice for the very first time. They've never had an eye examination before and that's what we refer to as the patient. Then you've got the customer, that person that perhaps has had a pair of spectacles that they've worn before or they're currently wearing. It does not necessarily mean that they have gotten that pair of spectacles or contact lenses from your practice. They could have gotten it from another practice and they now come in for the second time in your practice. And then you've got that third individual who is the, the, the client who keeps coming back to your particular practice year in, year out for all their visual related requirements. And so that's how we were given the definitions. And in the book, we actually, which page is it? Uh, this is the first book. I just need to find it here. But it's in the first book. We actually do a full on table on the difference between the patient, the customer, and the client. And we break it down nicely. I just can't find it now. And I had it now. But anyway, you know how these things work. Uh, let me find, oh, there we go. Right in the beginning. Um, in page 12 of the book and we say it's the clinical phase or execution phase and we break the, break it down in terms of what happens during the eye examination and so we've got what we call consumer expectations and we break it down between the patient the customer and the client and we define it according to nine characteristics uh, questions that they have uh, answers that they require the most the number one need uh, what they are once are the challenges, the outcomes, the financial desires, and the do's and don'ts. So we do that in the first book. And as we go on in the book series, we keep on expanding the information pertaining to the patient, the customer, and the client. But let me simplify it for this particular video. So that person that comes to the practice for the very first time, remember they're skeptical about wearing glasses. They have got preconceived ideas that if they go and see an optometrist, they're going to get given a pair of spectacles, whether or not they've got an eye problem or not. So they're really skeptical. No one goes to the commentaries looking forward to wearing a pair of spectacles right from the onset. Whereas the customer, here's the thing about the customer that's very, very interesting. They could have had a terrible experience the first time round when they were wearing a pair of spectacles. Or they could have had a great experience. You never know. And perhaps they were in your particular practice the first time. And now that they're coming for the second time, uh, they seen by someone else. Uh, last time there was a locum. So there isn't any form of record keeping in the practice to say, oh, this person, this is the second time that they're coming and they were seen by so and so and these are the staff members that assisted this person. The client keeps coming back. Each of these different individuals has different expectations that they have when they come to the practice. You have to make sure that as a practice, as a team, you are exceeding those expectations. The patient that comes for the very first time you need to educate them, you need to inform them, you need to show them that this is what they currently see, but this is how they should be seen. And this is the role that you are going to be playing in getting them to see the way that they're supposed to be seen. If they're not seeing the way they're supposed to be seen, these are the factors that are influencing it. And if they're not sure, literally take time throughout the, 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 the procedures that you are doing. Make sure that you're doing everything right from the onset, especially when it comes to uh, selecting the possible management solutions. If you're going to go and not introduce potential solutions right from the onset while you are taking the case history, you're going to have a problem at the 
end of the examination, trying to convince them that now they need this pair of spectacles or three or four pairs of spectacles with the different sets of lens materials and coatings, and they need contact lenses. But if you laid the foundation from the onset, already when you're taking the case history and you're already identifying that, wait a minute, this person is a high myope and they have never worn glasses before, already tell them from the onset that, look, from what I'm already picking up already right now, and you will see it as we're going along, is that your visual problem is actually more serious than what we thought it was. And there are possible solutions that we're going to come up with at the end of the examination, but I'm just going to lay the foundation so that you have an understanding as we go along, so that at the end, it's not a lot of information that we're sharing with you, but you are understanding every part of the process that we're going through. So you must make sure that you wow the patient. That's basically what you need to be doing with the patient. You have to create the wow factor from the onset. And that has to make, that has, that has to do with you making sure that all the information that they need to know, you have adequately explained yourself to them. You have educated them thoroughly enough. Uh, the management solutions, you have detailed it every step of the way. What will they be experiencing with the pair of glasses that you're going to be recommending versus what will they be losing if they don't go with it? So what will they be gaining versus what will they be losing? That's basically what you're establishing from the onset with the patient. The customer, on the other hand, let me explain it in two, in two different uh, formats. If the customer is someone that got a pair of spectacles from your practice uh, two years ago and now they're returning, your following system has to indicate that this person is the second time that they come into your particular practice and last time this is what they got. Your job is to upgrade them. It makes absolutely no sense. Technology keeps on improving. Lens materials keep on improving. Uh, there's multiple management options that are available. Why are you prescribing the very same thing that you prescribed two years ago? Make sure that the patient, I mean the customer, is getting better service, products, service delivery. Everything that they got before, the experience needs to be better than what they experienced before. I mean, especially if they come from another practice, you need to inquire how was the experience, the glasses that they got, how did they experience wearing the glasses? When were they wearing the glasses? Why were they not wearing the glasses? According to what you see the script is, this person is telling you I'm only using them when they're reading, but based on the script, they need to be using the glasses all the time. Why is it that they were not using the glasses throughout the periods that they were using it? So you need to have that information and you then need to be quick to establish what their expectations were the first time that they got glasses. So that if they have the same type of expectations, where are the opportunities for you to exceed those expectations? And here's the thing with the customers is that they hop around. So especially those ones that I said to you that they might have been wearing a pair of glasses, not necessarily having received them for your practice. And so if that is the case, you want to convert that customer to the client. You want that person to keep coming back there. Here's the most amazing thing that you could ever hear from a customer. When someone says to you, you know what? My previous optometrist did not do this. I've been wearing glasses for some time and this has never been done for me. Wow, this is the best experience that I've had at the optometrist. What I thought has happens at an optometric practice versus what I've experienced are two different things. That's what you want people to say. And once you do that, they're going to tell their colleagues, their friends, their family about the experience that they had. The client, don't take them for granted. Personalize the experience every single time. If there's a person in your practice that has been coming to your practice for like 5-10 years and they get along very well with the optometrist but the staff don't know that the Chabalala or Mrs. Van der Melva or whatever the case may be, you need to train your team to be able to pick up on your, 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 how you, you keep your records in terms of who has been with the practice for a very long time so that you are personalizing the experience that they are getting from the practice every single time. Don't take it for granted that these people will always keep coming back because if you become complacent with regards to the service that you're rendering, the practice down the road is busy improving on what they are offering the, the people. And so over time, you're going to not even have an awareness of why is it that the people that used to be coming here to the practice are no longer doing so the way they used to. And you'll be using all these unnecessary excuses and not actually understanding what the real problem is. So basically, that's our approach. Make sure you get a copy of the book. This is the first book, Vision Straits Business Guide for Optometrists. It's actually amazing how what we wrote way back in 2016, it's still so relevant and so effective 
in 2021. And this is the first book in the series of five books that we have written. So get in touch with us, books at visionstraight.co.za. And it will be an absolute honor to connect with you. And just to, if you want more information, if you want a personalized staff training program for your practice, we are more than happy to oblige and to make sure that your team is operating at the highest possible level of excellence, revenue growth, and of course, transformation. Remember, it's consumers, patients, customers, and clients. And in the books, we've got a clear strategy on the different types that you need to be able to understand so that irrespective of the individual that walks into your practice, you are in a position to exceed those consumer expectations that they might have.